Hey up everyone and welcome back to the North for the next episode of Battle Brothers in Legends and PTR mods with the Peasants Militia. Last episode we had quite an eventful one with an unfortunate death and a technical retirement that now leaves us at a roundabout number of 25. So I think the big aim today is to try and get us back up to a nice and hefty and healthy 20. Seven. The only things that have really changed since the end of the last episode is Lysandra has now taken on Rogar's axe in his name and remembrance. Also because Lysandra just wants to do more damage. I mean, look at this. That is truly, truly disgusting. Um, as for that, I need to bastardize a lot of this stuff at some point and people need to recover. But we do need to finish this contract first. But I do believe that something happened at the end of that last combat. So let's see what Schmidt is doing to one of the soldiers that survived that fight. During the battle at the workshop near Sudfest, Schmidt demands to know where his son is from, the wounded footman in front of him. The footman had originally escaped the battle, only for Schmidt to catch up to him and end their noble career by obliterating his kneecap with his trusty hammer. The footman winces on the ground as he taunts, Your boy? Ha! <laughs> that idiot thinks the Lord wants him here, told him he is special and set him up all fancy told him you were a traitor. That boy hates you now, and wants nothing more than to fight for the Lord. Everyone knows he was given a weapon he can't even handle, just so that his corpse would be sent back to your family when this is all done. You should have thought you were better than us. It could have been you instead of him. Schmidt swings the hammer one more time and caves in the footman's skull. He shouts to whoever is listening, I'll find that boy and teach him something. Save him, even if he doesn't want it. If I hadn't told that Lord to bark off when he came recruiting me, you want to store my boy whilst I wasn't watching. That noble bastard and his men will suffer. And I may have to beat it into that kid, but he will learn that these nobles want nothing to do with us. And anything is better than serving him, even death if it comes to it. He tails off before unhooking his hammer out from a now extremely deceased soldier's cranium and swings it slightly in the air, splattering the hanging remains onto the Midland Sands. Jacob, who is currently standing next to you whilst the scrotums work on scavenging the best armor from the battlefield, turns to you and says, You know, if every son had a father like Schmidt, maybe this world wouldn't be so farked all the time. He sighs as he stacks several shields onto the wagon. On that, we can agree, Jacob. All right, well, with that little anecdote, let's go and wreck the rest of this contract. Uh, I'm going to avoid, obviously, dealing with the uh, destroying surface copper vein near Newick, because I would feel very bad about hurting them during this war, because they don't deserve it. But I will go and destroy any caravans or patrols, hopefully patrols, of House Skunake. But I might go back to Fuckstrom first just to sell loads of stuff, because we are... What's our inventory like? Oh boy, 207 out of 210. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly I'm just gonna quickly nip back over here. Let's go quickly nip back over here. Okay, sold off as much as I could, so we're back to having a decent amount of inventory space. So I got a bit of money for it. You'll also notice that we are now at 26, so I would like to introduce you to our next scrotum on the chopping block. Oh, that sounds awful when I put it like that. So this is Arthur Braveheart. He is a sword militia man. He will eventually be a two-handed sword militia man, but I don't trust his melee defense just yet to get to the point where I'm comfortable with him just having two-handed well, two-handed swords, effectively. But let's test him out a little bit. Let's make sure he survives the first few fights. And then I will reward you with a two-handed sword. But not a moment sooner than that. Also, I need to repair a lot of your stuff. Because I, uh... You are technically wearing a lot of Hasselhoff's stuff. So, in remembrance, we'll remember him by. Uh, except the massive armor set that he was wearing. Because only Hasselhoff had the fatigue to actually wield that. Which is kind of ironic to say that he was a backliner. Anyway, let's go cause some hassle for House Kanek already. Oh boy, howdy. This is this is an amount. I agreed that we would do this. This is an amount. I can already see a man at arms over there because he's got one of those helmets again, which would suggest that that is a famed item. Also, he's got a military cleaver. Sometimes these man at arms seem to have more than one. You know, I haven't changed the setting yet in this new PC, which makes faster movement for computers. But just looking at it, I just want to use this as an example quickly. Is this how people play the game sometimes with slow movement? Like, vi watch this. Ugh. Ugh. You guys have got more patience than I do. I'm changing the speed up. Okay. Problem resolved. Bloody hell. Uh, let's just wait for everyone to appear. I assume they're gonna it's going to take a while for them to get here anyway. Unlucky. That would have been a good old bop. Thank you, Big Harry Beast, back in the game. All right. Don't make me feel bad about this. All right. My dog is going to bleed out, and I'm going to feel bad about it. Okay, we're back up to speed, literally. Oh, man. That was going to be rough otherwise. 
Fair play if you play it like that, but I just don't think I would ever be able to. Never, ever, 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 ever. I think I used to back in the day, but man, I don't know how I did it. Oh, you should have shot him in the head. Get rid of the standard bearer and they're going to have a terrible time. So the main ones to look out for really is if we can kill the standard bearer, that'll be great. Obviously, there's a bazillion billmen. There is the man at arms who is to be the one to be concerned about. Also, I would like his stuff, so, you know, that'd be nice. Switch route. Schmidt is fully into this. He will rip and tear until his son is found one way or another. If it is in this contract or the next, I guess we'll see. Nice one, Furman. I say nice one. It doesn't really make me feel much better about it, does it? Decent enough. Him to the head. You didn't have to decapitate, Andrew. We know it was going to die, man. Ugh. Rough going. Really rough going. Okay, so there is a contingent coming up here. Let's see how Lissandra uses and utilizes Rogar's axe to its fullest ability, you would hope. Hold that thought. Where are they coming from? It's also been a few days since I played Battle Brothers, and I've kind of missed it. Usually I feel like I need to take a break from Battle Brothers just from how much I play it. And I do... Obviously, I appreciate that the large majority of the people in the community join because of Battle Brothers. I do also like taking breaks and playing other games, which is kind of a shame because it doesn't really convert over too well to the rest of the community who aren't super interested in watching too many other things. But usually I like to play other games as well, just so I have a nice break. But I have kind of missed playing it whilst I've been playing other stuff. Not that I'm saying I'm not, I'm not on disliking playing other stuff. I am still very much enjoying playing War Tales in the Iron Earth. Right, anyway, jump in. Captain, you love to see it when he actually hits stuff. Hilma's going to clean up and join up. Jump in there, please. Uh, Schmidt, destroy. That was almost an instant kill. I mean, if that's the way that that axe is going to go, like one hit, one kill, I am completely on board with it. Completely on board with it. Uh, Elmer, you might want to just back off a little bit. You shoot him in the ear. Yeah, he won't like that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Now he's dead. He he had to think about it for about three seconds for another bolt, then pushed that bolt in. Right, how are you guys going to realign yourselves? A lot of the backliners are coming here to support them on arms and the standard bearer, who's not having a great time. Let's see if we can snipe that guy in the next one. Uh, Eric, can you... Henrik, is it? Right, Enric. I almost said Enric. Eric, up you go, please. I know you have been feeling a bit weird since everyone did leave and die last time. I'm sure I will check in on you at some point in the next episode or so. Right, where's this man at arms going and what is he up to? What are you doing, you scumbag? And should I be aware? Ghost face killer? Not this time. Oh, you'll be sorry. I hope. I hope you'll be sorry. Uh, okay, Elias. Goodbye, standard bearer. Ah, damn, I didn't hit him in the head. For shame. That was a... Yeah, okay, that goes gone, fine. You did tap him slightly, but he's been through worse. Can you shoot Henry back? You can. Good job, Elmer. Keep it on the back foot. Just give us enough time to deal with the other group before he gets in here. Are you actually going to go in, or are you just going to stand there? Just going to stand there. Fair enough. Big old whiff. All right, Elian, Elian, snipe him out, please. They really do want to go for our boy, don't they? Uh, no. <laughs> That's what happens when you get in melee combat with Big Harry Beast. He'll let you know about it, don't worry. Sniped. Ooh. Sniped. Great job. Thurmond. Sure. You want to get on the snipe train as well? You can get on the snipe train if you want, buddy. Uh, let's go up here with Thirsty. Let's get that up, please. Give him a good old smack. Not this time, unfortunately. Lob it. No. Computer says no for this time. Right, Eric. Give him some payback. God damn. God damn. Obliteration. Is the only word I can really use for it. Careful. Good dodge. Schmidt's really in it. He's kind of gone off on one. I mean, I get it. I appreciate why he has, but he's really gone off on one. Right, here come all the backliners who might be a problem. Fortunately, this time, they did all seem to miss. Like, I think all of them missed. I mean, yeah, great. Just a bit surprising. Right, where's the man at arms going? He is going to try and realign himself that way. That guy does not stand a chance against R. Jacob. This man will also run far, far away. 
Kaftan, come down. 37 is not great. 42, not this time, buddy. Schmidt puts another one down. I mean, the knight is not, does not want to be here anymore. I think he has heard of us before, and he is now very, 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 very scared. Right, pull up. I say pull up. Can you anger yourself there? Yeah, shoot him in the head. Why not? Do what you want, mate. Oh, man. The point blanks are ruse. Big Harry Beast doesn't care about it. He's going to let him know about it. Captain is going to get a bit stabbed. I think they're finally starting to hit us a bit. It's all right. Don't worry. Right, when down you go. We're kind of covered up there. Keep it up, Schmidt. Do it for your boy, wherever he might be. God, they always go for the ghost. It feels like the ghost has got, like, taunt permanently on or something. Hup! Good throw. Good dodge, Captain. Come on, luckiest man alive. Keep up to that ideal, please. That was unfortunate. Don't worry about it. Leave that one to Eric. He's definitely got this. Oh, wow. They all just cheesed it. Hiya. Okay, he will get there. That was a 95 miss, to be fair. It won't happen again. It might happen again. It probably will happen again. But don't worry about it. Nice throw. Hey, man. Nice throw. Right, screw it. Rage time. Let's go. How's your weapon? 2%? All right, just, mack him. just smack him. Maybe we do need to give you a different spear. It's been fun using it, but... If it's getting to the point where I can't really use it anymore... Oh, you missed all three. Oh, very unfortunate, actually. You were pretty close to all of them. But if it's getting to the point where you can't really utilize it anymore because it will just fall apart, then we might need to reconsider. May need to reconsider. I'll think about it. We'll see what we can find out in the yonder. Leaving? The fight's barely started, mate. We're not even there yet. Okay. okay. On the plus side, he went for a guy that wasn't running, which is actually the right thing to do. So maybe Ghostface Killer is learning. Slowly, but surely. Love whip kills. God damn the 11. Right, Man at Arms is going to be a problem. It doesn't mean we're going to get another one of those helmets, which would be quite funny if we all just end up with them. Just went up the line. Sure. Right, at least he's knackered, right? Ah, I mean, probably. He's probably getting there. Decapitate. Okay, well, his arm has gone completely. What can you do? Uh, Lissandra down here, please. Get ready to go right between the eyes. Our favorite. On the menu today is everyone's favorite meal deal. Right between the eyes. Surely this guy's knackered, right? I mean, I'd be pretty knackered if I was him. Not that I am him, I'm just saying. God, Hursty. Honestly, I don't know how you've got to... Man, Linus taking a page out of Eric's books. He's been teaching you... Well, either well or not well. I'm not sure which one it should be, technically. I... Uh... Oh. I think the game's just being mean to him now. Come on down. Fair play to the guy. He is confident still. Schmidt will get another one. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Gotta chase him. Don't let him get away now. Or I'll remind you of it every single time. Don't do it. Oh, the artist straight up running. Okay, cool story. Yoink? Not this time. Yoinker, no yoinking. Hold that thought. Can you shoot that guy who's like cheesing it. Nobody escapes. Not really. Life get life comes for everyone. That is just the way of things. Hiya. I think he's gonna bleed out. I, I have to assume he's probably going to bleed out. Oh. Someone break his shield, please. He's had enough fun now. Unless I can get here and fire? Nah. Right, this guy's screwed anyway. That guy just didn't know what he was walking into, let's be honest. I feel bad. Do I feel bad? Yes. Do I care? Not really. You want to start stabbing him? Mm, no. <laughs> no, you don't. There it is. There's the hemorrhaging. Right, let's get started then. To be fair, if he's like his last friend, he will probably have a pretty whale of a time being around us. He had his time. God damn it. Right, well, Eric kills Sir Henrik. It's kind of like Eric. It's got Eric in the name, just not quite. And now it's time to deal out the damage. Grab those, please. Let's get ready. 
Should be able to disarm him pretty quickly. You might just be able to stab him to death. Do I feel sorry for the guy? Not really. You're probably a problem child. Oh man, Lysandra's really gonna get those stabs in. Um, you don't have a... Does anyone else have any knives around him? Hursty, do you even have a knife? You know what? Just get out of the battle. I don't want you to accidentally kill him with a pickaxe. I'm not really about that. Man, I need to replace all the knives. I could have sworn we had better ones, but I guess... I mean, it's not gonna matter. Jacob's still gonna stab it in and twist. Captain? Captain? Look at you go. Schmidt? It's only right that Schmidt gets that kill to that man-at-arms. Don't worry, that was not his son that we're aware of. Uh, Drisk will level up. That's pretty decent. And we will get... Whatever the hell that is, I'm gonna have to look. Full harness of plate armor, is that the thing? Oh, Stern Temple is gonna be what it's called, I imagine. But there is definitely something in there. His armor does look very funky, though. Very weird. And we have another one of those um, swan helmets called Sir Diggory's Cataclysmic. That's pretty cool. Uh, yes, I will take two fame pieces of armor. And I do always like the beat masks. I'm a big fan of them. Let's grab this stuff. Let's see what we can give to who. Okay, so Stern Temple is just the lower part, which is fine. 86 and minus 4 for, like, the lower part is very good. I might actually give that to Schmix. It feels only fair. And then if I have a quick gander at... Where's it gone? Where'd it go? At Sir Diggory's Cataclysmic. That's 206 and minus 14. God, it's going to be swan helmets for days around here. Okay, I was camping before that, so I'm just going to quickly finish camping because we do need to repair a bit. I am going to run out of... Jesus Christ. Hi. Oh man, this is going to be some heavy fighting today. I feel like this episode is just going to be noble fighting. I'm not against it, but Jesus Christ, 42. That means that from this fight to that fight, we'll have fought like, what, 80 of them? How's everyone's armor doing, like generally speaking? I know some people took a few hits, but nothing too crazy. How do you feel about being in this next fight, Arthur? Your head armor is not looking too fresh. Hmm. I might see if I can pull back slightly in preparation just so I can fix a bit more things, because, uh... 42 is nothing to laugh at. Although one good thing is Sky Splitter finally finished his training course, his, his online training course, and he got... What did he get? I don't know what it said. What did it say? Determined. Oh, so he will always be a confident if permitted by mood. Man, okay, so he's always going to be happy, generally speaking. In terms of his perks, I mean, I don't know. Is there anything that's helpful on the old fatigue? No, but I can give him versatile weapons so it increases the ability of his insane-looking orc sword, at least. Right, I managed to pull back away from him slightly. I am just going to recover a bit before we dive in here, but there's a lot going on. A sergeant, a knight, a halberdier, slinger, fencer, noble guard. There is no man at arms, so I don't think this is going to have any famed stuff. But I think just the pride of killing these guys will be quite something. I don't think we're escaping these guys, but every time I camp for like five seconds, someone else goes over the line. So Andrew also has Fearless now, which is extra to his resolve. I mean, Andrew did want to be a resolve-based character, so this is absolutely fantastic for him. To the point, I might even give him Rally, so we've got a backup Rally the Troops person. That might be a good idea. Or I might give him something to do with Cleavers. Okay, no, to, to offset his fatigue a bit, because his fatigue's alright, but it's not like top tier, and I would like to give him some heavier armor down the line, but I have basically given the perk to offset his uh, fatigue recovery a little bit at least. Now I am bastardizing as much as I can, but I am getting chased by this Sudfest company. I'm gonna see if I can ring them around a little bit, just so I can get slightly more recovered, because we're not quite there yet. I, I camped, they ended up pissing off, and I don't know where they've gone. I assume it's, ah, oh, <laughs> they're back. They were waiting for us just in time. Okay, 42, bring it on. Okay, I moved around some people's armor a bit here and there. I did end up giving, who did I give the other one to? I gave it to Steve the Sailor, Steve the Flying Sailor. This guy has like loads of beaky backliners. I'm kind of into it, to be honest. I'm liking the vibe of it. Um, and then I also gave Schmidt the under-level, um, like, less fatigue but better armor-based, um, like, base layer. I think he deserves it. He he's got a very, like, personal gain in this war, so it's better to try and keep him alive. Ooh, a two-handed sword that I could maybe give to new guy Arthur, as long as he survives, because I didn't realize how bad his helmet was. Oh, boy. Uh, a helmet got there. Too far away. If that sergeant moves, don't even think about it. Just shoot it. Don't care. Shoot the sergeant. They're all dicks. Too far away. Alright, fine. Shoot this wayhander. Wow! Full acton cap is hit for 50 damage. Yeah, Big Harry Beast just sniped. Like, 360 no scope. Someone just saw, uh, Big Harry Beast do the Macarena and then just shoot his gun. I say shoot his gun. Shoot his crossbow. Don't mess with this man. He's not even trying. Is he putting in a shift? I couldn't tell you. He's doing his job. I'm not asking him otherwise. Hiya. Get rid of them. Kinda. Get rid of them both together. 
He's still not dead. Okay, at least their ranged compartment are scared of us. Fear is the mind killer, after all. But also, there is 41 of them. So we just want to be a smidge careful, because we are kind of surrounded. Kind of surrounded. They all just cut his eyes out, Drisk, so. Drisk ain't messing. He's like, look, the new guy should be alright, but I just want to keep an eye on him. Which is valid, because we've also got Sir Hilderic coming in. We've killed a lot of knights in this noble war. I think we probably killed, I can't really remember, many of the noble wars before this in the other series. But I feel like we've killed a lot of the other side, like, by ourselves, when we would normally jump in and get help, you know? I am a little bit worried with the sheer amount of backliners they've got. That is going to be the thing that gets us, if we're not careful. Right, Arthur, stand there for a second. Just look pretty. How's your weapon? Should have thought about that. It's fine. Well, he, he basically just became not a person anymore, so that's happened. How is your weapon? It's fine. It's actually all right. In that case, use it to the best of your ability. Yeah, that's how it's done. Scare the sergeant. That's made them think twice. Right, I need my ranged people to start going out of control, please. We need as much damage on their side as possible, Sivu. Play! There goes the sergeant. Linus, I definitely changed the options so you so it resets equipment, but I guess it takes a, a fight to set in. It's fine. Don't you worry about it. I know you guys are worried about it. It's not your problem. It's my problem. Right, Schmidt, get in. Our kid, get in there. Yes, my son. Woo -hoo -hoo! There it goes. Rogar is still with us, ladies and gentlemen. His soul is within an axe. We'll carry it into every single battle. A resounding cry from the Strotums. Sound less like a football commentator, now like a rugby commentator. I'm fine with that. I prefer rugby. Let's see. I'll see who, who, who can snipe. Bye, bro. Next. Right, that part, if they could just stay away from us for a bit, that'd be lovely. Whip to the face. Wow. Made him regret being alive. Okay, new guy. Let's see where we can get you. Careful. Fair enough. I don't want you dying in this first fight. It would be a damn shame. We're trying to protect our new scrotums. They need it. They're still soft. Their underbellies are still developing. More like their gooches are still developing. They're perineums, if you want the scientific word for it. Gooch is fine. A thank you. We're not giving Lysandra the respect she deserves, and you will pay for that. You will pay. They are really squeezing in. They're really squeezing in. I suppose there's so many of them, it's only a matter of time until they just overwhelm us with numbers. It is a numbers game after all, but as long as we just keep, keep going. That man just fell over and died, in front of all of his friends as well. Just a prank, bro. Who got that on the vine? Right. I'm getting, losing track of where everything is. Ghostface. Yeah, he tried. Right. Hildrick, where are you coming from? Wayne, the entire Northern Quarter is on you, buddy. Good luck. We're mostly counting on you. To be fair, the range squad are doing pretty good up there. They are more or less no-scoping them all into oblivion, which... It's just impressive, isn't it? You love to see it. Uh, I tried to whip it out, out of his hand. Not this time, Broski. Oh, don't bring them all back. Let them run home. Thanks. That was a chance of 17, and he rolled a 17. To be fair, that's not really on you, Arthur. That's just on being kind of unlucky. Bye. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay, maybe better than that, please. Keep it the defense, but come up this way, please. Bo, my buddy boy. What do you got for me? Shoot him ahead. I'll take it. Shoot that guy? I'll take it. Hi. Gotta be aware of where they're all coming down on. Nope. Nope. Who's gonna be a problem in their back lines? I know who his, what his name is. And you all do too. That's the part where he gets absolutely slammed, unfortunately. Can you kick him back? Get back! Now, unfortunately... Oh, no. Lissandra does have a good angle. 
I thought she was injured, but she's just covered in other people's blood, which I guess is a vibe. I guess it's a vibe. Hey, catch. Okay. Hey, catch. That was a bit limp. Don't worry about it. And jump in. Oh, God. When is it her turn? Soon enough. Arthur's going to need a little bit of uh, guidance. He, he will get there. He's, he's quite low level, to be fair. I think he's like level three, maybe? Don't don't quote me on that. I think he's level three. Whew. Okay. Nobody's going up that way. That man is almost instantly dead. He is now instantly dead. Right, Schmidt, can you clear the board a bit? Hell yeah, buddy. Let's get a bit further up to protect everyone up north. Can you just decapitate someone straight away? I mean, you'll come pretty damn close, let's be honest. Let's move up. Okay, this is a good start. Linus, you can keep it going. I mean, to be fair, you've got 474 uh, armor. I think you're okay, something tells me. Keep firing. Great dodge. Ghostface, I'll take it. Right, range squadron coming in on their side. What are they going to do? They're going to miss. They're going to fire again, and they're going to miss. They're going to reload and fire again, and they're going to miss. They're all, they're all missing Yurton. He's a great arrow magnet, but he's also good at dodging them as well. He really has the move set for it. Okay, they're all renegotiating where they want to stand. God damn, Elian. A lion. Elian. A lion. L. Go call you L. Keep getting it wrong, because I'll make it easier for myself. Ha! Right, here comes the real problem. Great blocking, Arthur. Come on now. Sure, oh, jeez, that was a... What was that? That was a chance of 12. Roll a 10. That's unfortunate, buddy. Come on. Stay in the game, my friend. Ow. There's a lot to cut through there. So if you need support, Eric, Elias has got you back. Let's get raging. Oh, Mia's been included, apparently. She would also like to rage. Bloody hell, they're really getting through. What was that one? Is that another chance of... Yeah, this is not... That could be going better. Come on now. Oh, Arthur's first kill. Good job. Good job. All right. Put your shield up and keep on it like a car bonnet. That's right. Aim for the part where they've got their brains in. Assumingly, they've got their brains in. Good dodge. That was a bit scary, actually. And throw. Olympic throw. I think Furman could be in the Olympics. If there was like a... I don't know, Battle Brothers Cinematic Universe Olympics. He could probably be in, like... He could represent the scrotums for, like, the throwing section. <laughs> if, if we create an Olympic section for both, for all groups. That'd be a weird YouTube video. Get out of here. And you. And almost you. Eric has come to town. He is very angry. Oh, you're a noble guard? Not for long, buddy. Careful. Seriously? Shield up and everything. He's getting really unlucky. That's like a 10, a 12, and a 3. Ugh. Tell me you don't like one of my characters without telling me you don't like one of my characters. It's very rude. Jacob has done nothing wrong to you guys. Except kill all your friends. What do you mean that counts? We have managed to mangle them quite a bit, I would say. So much so that I think we're in a pretty good... Well, I'm not going to say out too loud, but I think we're in an okay position for now. Linus, I mean, even if he hits you, he's doing super minimal damage, so I'm not too worried about him getting through you whilst we try and deal with the rest. They might also start considering to leave, maybe? Maybe. I can see that Hilderic is having... That was a... Okay, like, fine. That was that was whatever, I guess. It happened. I can't really tell you. Leaving so soon. Oh, God. Gotta remember, he is... Technically, he is a glass cannon. 
His melee defense isn't actually that great. He's just survived by sheer will. And that is what makes it more impressive, honestly. Like, jeez. He's got like 16 melee defense. Maybe he's got more than that. Maybe he's got more these days. I'd have to double check. Maybe I'll check when he comes around again. Right around the bend. Oh, God. Bolander in open fire. Don't stop. Okay, fine. Stop. Alliance, pick up. Where are we going with this? Pop it. Close enough. Right, you're on the way out. You basically got no health. This guy's also going out. Arthur, how are you feeling? He's looking okay. Arthur's looking alright. He's gonna get a second kill in his first thing. Damn, Thurmond. Nice try. Yeah. There it is. There's the worry. Man, I need to get Captain a themed one of those bad boys. I mean, we were pretty close to getting one not too long ago. What the fuck? Billman uses batter and hits Jacob Flowers. Chance of five, roll the four. Let me get this straight. So, Jacob got hit by a 10, a 4, a 12, and a 17. And we needed a chance of 20 to hit him each time. That's insane. He's gone. Another man loses his life to this war. But what a... I just don't have any words for that one. Like, I couldn't have really controlled that. Like, I could have pulled him out a bit, I get, but... Who expects that many rolls that low consistently? Man. Battle Brothers is not pulling any punches at the moment. Another one of my boys goes. I was going to replace his weapon. Man. I liked Jacob. I mean, I like everyone. We just got back up to 26. You're telling me we're back down to 25. Well, everyone in the list is going to be pretty happy. I mean, I'm not happy. Any time we lose a brother or a sister, I am not happy. Especially when it's like that. That just felt rude. Like, fair enough if it was like, if he was out of position and he had, it was a very high percent chance, but damn, that was just... Can someone do the maths for me, please? I, I'm not going to do it, but if anyone out there would like to figure out the actual probability of what that was for Jacob to die, I would be very interested to hear it. Just from the percentages back to back. So what was it? 12%, 10%. Well, technically it's out of the chances as well. So it's a 10 and 20. Then rolled a 12 and a 20. Then rolled a 4 and a 5. And then rolled like a 17 and a 20. So, yeah. Any any super mathematicians out there, feel free to let me know. I would be curious. I think we all know the answer, of, answer though. Goddamn low. What's the chance of it? And it still happens. It still happens. Damn, man. Schmidt, you better find your son after the, in this war. A lot of people have died. Not that we were actively going in this war to find your son. We were, were doing it to help fix House Skrenek from the inside. But still. Still. Holy hell. I'm, I'm really taken aback. This is it's very much like a Rogar situation kind of all over again. Except Rogar got a little bit more unlucky, I guess, in terms of the old, uh... If he had... I think it was if he had two more health than he did, because he had nine health. He bled out for ten health, and we killed the thing literally the next turn after. So if he had two extra health, Rogar would be with us right now. I know. It's crazy. Okay, this fight ain't over yet. Wayne did manage to catch this guy, and he's now also effectively stunned him. I mean, he's now... He's dazed instead of stunned, but... He has seen his opportunity, and he grabbed him. This man will pay for what just happened to Jacob. A man who was only trying to change the world for the better. Whilst you suckle at the teat of a noble house. And you will pay for that with blood. Not from the teat. That'd be weird. Slam. Lucky. Not for long, though, because here he comes. Watch out, boy. He'll chew you up. Okay, that man just stood there and just let the blood fall out of his body, so I don't think he's, um, physically or mentally well at this point. So, time to take out the trash. Sir Hildrick, for your crimes, you will pay with your life. Stand and deliver. Who gets to kill him? Don't get hit in the head. Arthur's gonna make him run. Okay, well, 
Unfortunately, it seems out with the old, in with the new. God damn. Well, Miasmic will level up. I don't think anybody else will. Oh, his head has been crushed. No chance of coming out of that, unfortunately. Not even like a struck down. That is just... I don't even recognize the man he used to be. So we will have to remember him as the man he once was. God damn, like, sometimes in Battle Bros, you just don't know that your characters are going to die as you walk into a battle. But we did just fight 42 noble people, a few of them being quite high-level noble characters. Then again, like, it was just a constant onslaught from the backliners who just rolled extremely low. So this is just a case where we just got very unlucky. But as always, thank you for playing. And I know, that you've, I know as always, you've enjoyed playing it. So I'm sure we will see your characters again in the future and on other series. Right, well, I'll be grabbing this. Someone's going to be wearing this in memoriam. I think by the time we get to the end of the series, everyone's going to be wearing stuff from all the dead scrotums just to remember it all. Like, basically, in remembrance. Like, we're just going to be like a walking, like, morgue. Or, like, technically history museum, but just for scrotums. I would not want to really go to that museum in real life, though. Okay, everything is repaired once again. I've cried a lot in the background because Jacob died. Man! We are, at this point, going to be rocketing through the list today at this rate. I think, hopefully, Fuckstone will spawn some more Militia people, because a lot of people at the top of the list are, like, Militia-based characters. So, we'll see what I can find by the end of this episode. I think we can definitely fit in, like, another... Because these Noble Fights, obviously, are quite big. So, I think this episode is just going to be a lot of Noble Fighting, replacing our ranks and upskilling them in the art of war, as Sun Tzu once said. Let's go find another one of these groups. At the end of the day, every one of these that we take out, every night that we kill, we are making House Shikonek better in the background because we are getting rid of the evil from within. We are rooting it out, and people will sacrifice their lives for that. Also, maybe we'll find Schmidt's son. Not that I actually know what his name is, so um, that might be helpful. <laughs> so I don't accidentally kill him. Although I'm not just going to go to every single like soldier in the battle line and just be like, is your name blah, is your name blah, is your name blah? And they're just like, no, kill him, no, kill him. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Also, I have changed a few things about a bit. I was saying that I was going to give Schmidt a um, fame shield, so I think it's only right that I give Jacob's shield to Schmidt. I think Schmidt will appreciate that, and he will honor Jacob by wearing that always. And I have given Barnabas um, his old spear, although I have given him a fighting spear in the background because we know that this will break easily, but it does do a lot more damage and lets him do more abilities back to back. So it is, generally speaking, better but you know just trying to keep him with that what's that minus 25 what's that minus 32 what's 290 239 i mean it would make you a little bit faster and you would be honoring him by doing that what does your what does that change by it does actually put up your defense technically your defense does go up and so does your initiative hmm interesting maybe barnabas will uh take on jacob's will Maybe we'll do that. Right, let's continue. Let's go kill at least one more group. I'm sure this the house should be pretty happy with us. Come on, make it a good one. Give me a champion. Or give me another man of arms at least. Give me another beak mask. Okay, I had to walk a little bit further, but there is a knight and a man of arms and a halberdier in this one. Less people, but if you put these and the other two into like perspective, we've killed like a hundred noble soldiers from this house alone. We basically decimated the army by ourselves. Soloed them, mate. Absolutely soloed them. Come on, come chase me into the, into the fields. Let's do this. This is for Jacob. Bring it on, you assholes. Let's go. Okay. Everyone's a little bit scared. Don't worry. Elias can buff that out, I guess. That wasn't super close, but it could get scary if we're not too careful. Damn. Don't even need to shoot him in the head, honestly. There's a lot of Zwayhanders coming our way. Rage. Just rage, my soldiers. It's time to take some anger out on these sons of bitches. It's kind of rude to think that all of the... They would be from our house, so... Well, maybe not, they're not sons of bitches. Maybe they're just bastards. Get in the ground. Can you shoot any of the ranged people? Hell yeah. Get started on them. Make them regret making the choice of joining this noble army. This putrid thing that has been left to fester in the world. Anyway, in you go. Start shooting, please. Thanks. Got you shot him in the head. Our, sh our headshot percentage as a group, generally speaking, I think is probably the highest. 
Like, the Scrotums, as a group, compared to all the other groups in the series so far, I think they are very much the epitome of people... Head shooters, which is, is very on point to say that they're called the Scrotums. Although they're not called the Bell Ends, I guess, but you, know, you get you get the sentiment. You get the sentiment. That's what, two down, one down. I mean, one of them's already dead. Arthur, stay where you are. I do want you to live. No more losses today, please. Please, no more losses today. Barnabas, get ready to go out on the edge of glory uh, and see what you can do about that. Linus, in you go, but once again, it hasn't changed your weapon back, although it changed everyone else's back. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. What have you got? I mean, you've got another one of those masks, which I'll take. Damn it. Schmidt. Schmidt ain't messing. He's done. He's done with these people and what they've done to his family. And now they will reap what they sow. Oh, nice. You hit the, the banner man. Okay, Barnabas. Spear wall, please. Let's see if they walk in, or at least we can sidle around and force them into the combat in the middle of the area. Which kind of works out either way, because then you can fold in on them and start stabbing them in the spine whilst they're getting attacked from the front by us. It's a tactic. It works. Sometimes. Uh, do you have anything else other than the... I think his armor might be fame, but I can't quite tell. It's not clear yet, but I'm sure it will become clear. Also, Andrew, if you're in this fight, I don't know if you are, if I took you out. You are. You also have a military cleaver now. I did manage to get another one from the last fight. Yeah, I can't tell what that guy's about. Good stab. I know what Call is about. Killing nobles. Goddamn. Elmer, come on. Nah, you're not hitting Elias. Elias is too cool for school. Schmidt fought back. He actually hit him with the, uh, effectively repost thanks to the Fury ability from Miasmic. Unfortunately, the, that won't work this time. Now we've got to focus on taking him out for realsies. For realsies. Buddy, you're lucky to be alive. Corvo, don't take any unnecessary risks. What I just say about people dying? No more. Not today. It's all right, Big Harry Beast has got your back. Although you do seem to be running a tiny bit. Come on now, we're doing this. Fall to fall and let's go. Rock and roll. Don't let her. That's all. They have all perished. Uh, here comes Mr. Rabe? Rabe? It's one of those. Oh, very close. Hey, I mean, Arthur's doing all right. He's doing all right. Hey, I said, when Eric says get decapitated, he says, he means get decapitated. No ifs, no buts, no coconuts on that. A thank you. Okay, that didn't go so well. At least that guy's kind of knackered. I mean, he's catching his breath. Ah, that was a 13. We're not going down this street again. Come on now, don't blame me. Don't play a player game. There, okay, well, the spear wall seems to have pushed them all downwards. Which I guess is fine. Okay, I guess Hersey's coming in to steal the kill. Maybe you should switch weapons whilst you're here. And hopefully it'll buff itself out again next time. Where are you going, Mr. Man at Arms? I don't like what the rock is cooking on that one. Well, Rave's helmet is just gone. Lysandra has ripped that guy in two, although the Man at Arms is still very much existing, but I think we can manage with that. How are we going with this? Damn, alright. That guy's almost gone instantly. Culver will get in the stabs! Ah, damn. Alpha, pierced arm muscle. Could be worse. He has been very... For a new person, he has been fantastic in his first, first few fights, so well done. Him and Ed? I think he did. Not this time. Sky Splitter decides, decides when he gets hit. Nobody else does. Nice one. Good job, Barnabas. Take on the Halberdier, please. That did no damage. Basically, did no damage. This can't keep Cole happy. No matter what, he's just not. He's not into this fight. 
Come on, buddy, you can do it. Where are you running? You know your helmet fell off, right? You dropped it over there. Maybe you should turn back and go and get it and give me an attack of opportunity, right? You should definitely do that. Okay, very little bit injured. Uh, nowhere to really switch a roo. Hold that thought. Boy, that's a lot to get through. Hey, not bad. Arthur, uh, come this way for a sec. I don't need to go down. Not when you've done so well for the first part. Damn! Sky, well, Sky Split is channeling his inner Eric, and he is pissed. Cassandra, thank you for your submission to Killers Monthly. That was unlucky. <laughs> Lol, bye. As the kids say. Great dodge. Oh. Ah. Eat. No, it's okay. We're okay. We're alright. Less alright for that. Schmidt. Destroy them. That'll do it, my friend. That'll do it. Smash through their armor. You know their weaknesses after all. You've probably built enough armor sets in your life to know that, my friend. Right. Come on, then. Push through. Decimate them. This will be, what, numero 100 on uh, Noble Kills for today. We may have lost some friends on the road. But they'll rest in peace knowing the good we did today and other days going forward. Drisk? Drisk will destroy Sir Rabe. Bees. And they're running. No, no. Stand and fight. Technically, we did not. Technically, we did start this, so we will finish it. But you guys should at least stick around for the fun to end, at least. No. Nope. Okay. Well, you're gonna force my hand. Oh. Okay. Not that one. But the ah, that was like three fifties. There we go. That's better. He's just gonna stand and bleed. This guy's taking a bit of getting through, but we finally got through. Shot him in the head. To be fair, that guy's almost out as well. Arthur, how are you doing? Can you get there and get a kill? Okay, I'm risking it, buddy. Oh! Mate! Who is this guy? I'm into it. Sky Splayer. Not this time, my friend. Also not this time. Aim for the head. Right, charge. Go, go, go. Taking, once again, a step in Eric's playbook. Start destroying the shield. He's going to do a big old whiff anyway. Oh, no. Get out of here with that nonsense. Schmidt, chase him down. Go get some answers. Surely this guy is really tired, right? Yeah, he's exhausted. Which is valid. I think they're going to get away. I have a feeling. Corvo looks like he's not going to let this one get away, though. Not this time. Saying that. Ooh, yeah, he's gone. How far away are they? He's there. You want to come on down? This guy might take a bit of doing. This guy might take a bit of doing. Can we please kill him? That is a lot better. Thank you. Okay, he's running. Yes, yeah, that's, that's good enough. He went from being confident to fleeing from just Lysandra and Eric alone, which, you know, it's valid. And Hilma's going to seal the deal. Didn't even see her coming. Silent killer, they would call her. Well, someone might call her that. I don't call her that. She's loud enough. Okay. Another knight of the house of this realm bites the dust. And what do we get out of it? Well, nobody died. Arthur leveled up, but he got a pierce leg like muscle. You're probably pretty close to leveling up as well, to be there. But Lendrin did also level up. That'd be level 15. You're level 15? I feel like you might be. Did we get anything out of that? I th I'm seeing a lot of um, repeat stuff going on here. So it seems that all the Man at Arms do have two pieces of famed armor. One of them is always that uh, swan helmet. 
and the other one is always the undercarriage of whatever's under there. 88 and minus 5 is pretty good. If it means we, we are going to get loads of base layers to make people's fatigue, generally speaking, better, I am absolutely fine with that. I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, with that, I think I'll decide who to give the other helmet to. We're just going to be full of swan helmets for, like, the rest of the series. Try and get, like, 25 swan, 22 swan helmets so we can all wear them. <laughs> That's going to be a very weird, like, vibe. I mean, it might be kind of a good sort of drip. Time to go. Right, back to camp start, although I'm not really going back to camp start. I'm going to go back to Fuckstrom and hand this in, and then we'll do a bit of recovery and see what's going on here, because, wow, we have been through a lot. And then I'll see if I can find two more people for the end of this episode. But I think that's going to kind of wrap it up a bit. Okay, back at Fuckstrom, we've got the most money I think we've ever had. I think we did have 80 grand until literally about turning the pendulum, and now we just paid everyone off, so we no longer now have 20 grand. But that's... Okay, I guess. Now, nobody's really spawned here, and this is actually the only city that we can go to to recruit. I mean, we can technically go back to, like, Krakendorf and Camp Star, but I've got a weird suspicion that this might be over before that happens. And we've got one person to find, narratively based, before it all is over. And there is a contract at Fuchsturm to go and move to the war camp and report to Sir Bertie. That's a name and a half, isn't it? But it is eight and a half grand. I'm a little bit low on the tool section, but I think I should be able to manage by bastardizing stuff we get in battle. Let's get on down to Sir Bertie, but then it's probably going to now be when this is done with that we go and find number 26 and 27. Let me just walk down there very quickly. Man, what a, what a day. Like, I just rob from these guys instead. <laughs> I mean, it would make them haters, so unfortunately not. And currently we're on a contract, so... Oh, he's fine. He's just recovered. I didn't even need to fix him up. He's fine. Uh, I think we will be kind of okay in terms of tools and supplies, but it's going to depend on what they want us to do. I imagine this is going to be like a three-prong contract where we've got to go and deal with scouts or deal with, like... What do we need to do? We're running low on food supplies, usually requisition stores. Where are we going for that? Oh, man, all the way up there? Okay, you know what? I think this episode is going to be mostly that entire contract, which we don't did, we just did, because it was a massive, massive contract. But we managed to perse persevere. Unfortunately, we did lose a long and good friend, Jacob, in the interim. We did also get to hire one of our newest newbies, Arthur, so that was at least a light at the end of the tunnel and he has already proven himself pretty well bonus is getting a little bit better they've all sort of inherited the wills and armor pieces of their fallen mentors i guess so i guess there is like a new replacing the old veterancy sort of rain out because not of all days just because they're getting creamed by four rolls when it's only a five percent chance um but that is just the way battle brothers is sometimes baby just like people say well, that's XCOM, baby that is indeed battle brothers baby but i will leave it there for today it might be a little bit shorter than usual it's just due to the fact i'm putting out a lot of other content at the moment so i am trying to keep everything a little bit shorter just so i can deliver on all fronts i hope everyone else is enjoying the other series if you haven't checked out the other ones i would probably recommend it they are very similar to battle brothers in scope and if you haven't played them before feel free to check them out on the channel but let's get on with the roll call let's see how everyone's doing i mean by the way she's still at one you've almost you've been so close to killing things so many times so there's someone else to swoop in and kill them so you've just got to be a bit more forceful with your kills get them in before somebody else gets them first uh, eric you're on 243 well, Sandra's on 214. I think that's only going to go up now with um, having Rogar's weapon in hand. Arthur, you've been here for all about five minutes. You're already on three kills. Maybe I will reward you with the, with this Wayhander next episode. I guess I will think about it. You don't have a lot of fatigue. Oliver taking this out and this. What's that? That'd be 22. How much is that? So you get 10 back. So it's a solid maybe. Drisk, you're on 66. Schmidt, me boy, you're on 78. Uh, it would be useful to know what your son's name is so we can keep an eye out for him in the future. Andrew's on 21 kills now in a military cleaver. Pretty good. Sky Split has been actually ripping stuff apart lately. 73 kills with Rogar's helmets on. Corvo's on 70. Big Harry Beast on 132. Steve's on 46 with his swan helmet. I still need to figure out who to give this to. Uh, let me just pull that off quickly. What is it? 207 and minus 16. Okay, not bad. Hilmer is on 141. Miasmic's on 26. Yurton's on 96. Very close to 100. Belendrin's on 233. Elias on 226. Elias is even catching up to Bill Lendrin now. You've got to put in a shift a bit more, buddy. Ella's on 67. Hursty's on 88. Wayne's on 116. Elmer's on 43. Captain's on 77. I feel like we might be seeing a lot of people hit 100 before this series is out. Furman's on 26. 
Duchess Cora is on 155, Kimo is on 79, and Linus, put that on you silly bastard. Lioness is on 132 kills. So Eric is still leading the charge, but these two are not that far behind him. It is going to be, I think it's going to be a top five by the end of the series if everyone survives. Yeah, look at that. 29 melee defense, and he's just swinging around killing as many people as possible. What an absolute mentalist. But you love to see it. Next episode, I think we'll be seeing the end of a noble war. I think it is about to be over. This will probably be the last contract, so we will rinse through that very quickly. And then I might start focusing on legendary locations a bit in between now and when the Holy War eventually kicks off for the last late game crisis. And I will try and find our next two people. And hopefully nobody else dies in the process. But at this point, it's anybody's guess. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. There's more in there that you will enjoy. As I said before, feel free to check out our new series on War Tales and the ever-running, continuing series of the Iron Oath as it is getting to its finale very soon. Or it might have got there, depending on where, when I'm recording that. So uh, I guess we'll see. I don't know where I am right now in terms of dates. Feel free to subscribe to the notification bell so you know the next time we're going out with the Scrotums in Battle Brothers as well as the other series mentioned before. Can't wait till then. Feel free to join the Northern Discord and join the conversation. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time. Time.